Island Slate describes what you just said. It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her divine power, and then the Oceanids turn into humans. Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed Oceanids? Oh, Paimo wasn't expecting that. But if Oceanids can turn into humans, then perhaps this process can be reversed as well. The second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky and the Hydra Archon and her people worshipping it together. But the heavens still brought judgment down upon them. This must be the point when the Hydra Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydra Archon sin are the same thing? The third slate shows the Hydra Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many people. <sighs> that reminds Paimon, didn't we also watch that happen to someone else? Well, the fourth slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. People dissolving into the sea, the Hydra Archon crying on her throne, and so on. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first, did we? But after that incident, it was just a question of when and not if. We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontanians can be dissolved in primordial seawater, and the first stone slate tells us that long ago, the Hydro Archon used her power to turn Oceanids into humans. This might be the reason that Fontanians can dissolve. Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. And the true sin of the Hydro Archon that Nervalette mentioned, and the original sin cast down on the people of Fontaine by Celestia, has recorded on the stone slates. It's not as simple as falling into the sea. When Navia fell into the sea, her consciousness was subjected to judgment. The stone slates show the people gathered around the Hydro Archon in the sea. Could that be alluding to the same thing? The prophecy from the stone slates found its way into society, but not many people believed it at first. The fortress of Meropede was nearly flooded with primordial seawater, which we know can cause Fontanians to dissolve. It seems increasingly likely that the prophecy may come true. If we hadn't dealt with it in time, things could have gone very badly. dissolve into the primordial sea but won't cease to exist, their essence will flow in the seawater, converge, and take the form of an oceanid! The Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of Poisson in a court within her consciousness and was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what. The prophecy's contents can all be verified by recent events. If we combine what we know together, loads of truths should come to light. <laughs> 